Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the support reactions. In this lecture, we are going to find out the support reactions for this beam. This is a simply supported beam and there are two different types of loading acting on this beam. The two are the pointed load of 5 kN and the one is the distributed load of 2 kN per meter. In this distributed load is distributed over the length of 3 meter while the whole length of the beam is 9 meter 3 meter plus 3 meter plus 3 meter so we have to find out the support reactions for this beam so to start with the support reactions let's suppose this is a hinge support and it is represented by point A and this is a roll support is represented by point B so to find out the support reactions and then I will also show you that how we can verify our support reaction that either we find our support reaction that they are correct or they are incorrect. So let's suppose first that summation of moment at point P are equal to zero. We can either use this equation or summation of vertical force is equal to zero. We can either use this equilibrium equation or we can use this equation summation of horizontal forces are equal to zero. In order to find out the support reactions, we can use these three equilibrium equation. So we know that there is no horizontal force involved in on this beam. There is no horizontal load acting on this beam. So we, we, we cannot use this equation. Also, we have two unknowns. One is this RA, this will be RA, and this will be the RB, which are unknown to us. So there are two unknown to us. So we can also not use this equation because this equation are only can only be used where we have only one unknown. Similarly, we are only able to solve our equation by this equilibrium equation. So we have to use this equation. So now let's suppose the summation of moment at point B equal to zero. And let's suppose the clockwise moment are taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment are taken as negative. Now the moment that RA will create about point B will be a clockwise moment. If you look to this RA reaction, so it will create a clockwise moment about point B. So it will be RA multiplied with the moment term because the moment formula is moment is equal to the force multiplied with the moment term. So the force is RA and the moment for this is this whole distance which is 9 meter. Now, the other forces which creates a moment about point B are 5 kN, which creates moment in the anti-clockwise direction about point B. They will create the anti-clockwise moment about point B. So it will be minus 5 because we choose that the anti-clockwise moment are taken as negative. Minus 5 into the moment up for this 5 will be the distance from this point up to this point. So this is 3 meter plus 3 meter. This distance is 6 meter. Again, there is also 5 kN and this moment arm will be 3 meter now for this force. So these were the pointed load. Now also we have distributed load of 2 kN per meter. So it will be 2. It is distributed over the length of 3 meter. So it will be 3 multiplying with the moment arm. This is force. The force will act at the center of this distributed force. This force will act at the center of this 3 meter, so it will be 1.5 here. This distributed force is distributed over the length of 3 meter, so the if we convert this distributed load into pointed load, so it will act at the center of this uniformly distributed load, and the center distance will be half of the 3, which is 1.5 meter. So the whole distance for this force from this point up to the point B will be 1.5 plus 3. 3 meter which is 4.5 this is 3 plus 1.5 which is 4.5 meter so summation of all the moments for about point b are equal to zero so simply it will be 9 r a if we shift this value into the right side it will become 30 into 15 into if we multiply and add this value we got 27 so 9RA will be equal to the 72. So it means if we divide this 72 by 9, so RA 
comes out to be 72 divided by 9 equal to the 8 kilonewton. So we got the reaction of Ra which is 8 kilonewton. So the Ra is equal to the 8 kilonewton. Now to find out the Rb, let's suppose we use the this again equation and let's suppose summation of moment at point A is equal to 0 in this case. In the similar way, we will take the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment are taken as negative. So Rb will create, it will create the anti-clockwise moment about point A. So it will create anti-clockwise moment about point A. So it will be negative. So minus Rb into 9 because 9 is the distance of Rb from this point up to this point. Now again the 5 kN will create the clockwise moment about point B, about point A. So plus 5 multiply with the moment term. The moment term for this 5 kN will be this 6, 3 meter into 3 meter, 6 meter. Again 5 kN is the load, so the moment term for this load is 3 meter. And again there is a distributed load of 2 kN, so it is acting over the distance of 3 meter. And then the moment term for this load is again the same which is for before the case which will act at the mid of this 3 distance so it will be half of 3 which is 1.5 and this 3 adding with this 3 meter so the total moment term will be 4.5 meter equal to 0. So in this case if we shift this RB into the right side so 9RB equal to the 30 plus 15 plus 27. Similarly, Rb equal to the 72 and Rb is equal to the, if we divide this by 9, we get 8 kN. So it means that the Rb support reactions is also have the same magnitude of 8 kN as the Ra. Because the load was symmetric, that's why the support reactions are equal in magnitude. Now, to verify that either we find out the support reactions correctly or not, so we will take help from this equation that the summation of vertical forces are equal to zero. Now to verify, we want to verify this. So that either we find out correctly or not. So to verify, let's suppose summation of vertical forces are equal to zero. And let's suppose the upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. This is just our sign convention. So the upward forces are Ra and Rb, these are acting in the upward direction. So Ra and Rb are acting in upward direction while all the forces 5 kN, this 2 kN per meter and 5 kN are acting in downward direction. So they are taken as negative. Minus 5, minus 5, minus 2 multiply with 3 because 2 is a distributed load over the distance of 3 meter. So I multiply with the 3. So all the summation of vertical forces are equal to 0. Now R A and R B are 8 kN. So 8 into 8 minus 5 into 5, 10 minus 2 into 3, 6 equal to 0. So 16 minus 16 equal to 0. So 16 will cancel with 16. So 0 equal to 0. So it means we verify that our support reactions are correctly. So we found out the support reactions of 8 kN, both acting in the upper direction. Hope you guys understand that how to find out the support reactions for the beam and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.